Uh, this bipartisan bill will lower the cost of solar energy for families and businesses and set strong goals for American solar energy production. Uh, there is no question but that we have made dramatic progress in cutting the cost of manufacturing solar panels by 72% since 1985. And that is one of the reasons why solar, the solar industry is exploding in this country. They saw, as I understand it, Mr. Chairman, something like a 64% increase uh, in their sales just last year alone. Uh, on the other hand, we have not made the same kind of progress uh, on so-called soft costs of installing solar. It's one thing to lower the cost in producing and manufacturing solar, another thing in terms of installing. And that includes uh, permitting and inspection fees. These fees account for up to 20% of the price of solar and are equivalent to a $1 billion tax on solar over the next five years. We can do better. In Germany, uh, solar energy is 40% cheaper thanks in part to a simpler permitting process. Secretary Chu's Sunshot Initiative sets a goal of reducing permitting, permitting related costs by up to 88% to make solar cost competitive with fossil fuels without any subsidies. That is the long-term goal. Our bill also sets a goal of 10 million solar rooftops by the end of the decade. We need this ambitious vision to compete for solar energy jobs. Germany installed solar in one million homes in the past two years alone. China has doubled its solar energy target to 50 gigawatts by 2020, the equivalent of 50 nuclear plants. The bipartisan 10 million solar roofs act supported by the Solar Energy Industries Association and the National League of Cities will help us lower the cost of solar and create jobs. And I look forward to working with my colleagues to achieve broad support for this bill committee.